Hi, Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Hugh Mercer, the Brigadier General in charge of the Continental Army's Flying Camp. Now, Hugh Mercer is now a little bit famous because his name is in the Broadway play Hamilton because, spoiler alert, he dies, and they mention that in the play, but... Mercer's story starts back in Scotland when he was part of the Jacobin uprising that was suppressed by the King of Great Britain uh, and he flees to North America. Now this seems to have been overlooked because just about a decade later uh, this young physician finds himself fighting in the French and Indian War. Now while he's fighting he's in western Pennsylvania and he's wounded and he actually traveled by himself across Pennsylvania for two weeks and when he returns he's rewarded because he is put in charge of what we now call P Pittsburgh what was then Fort Pitt and what we now call Pittsburgh he's put in charge of it and he oversees the constructions of some of the earliest buildings in what we now know as Pittsburgh now after that war ends he returns to Pennsylvania briefly but he's convinced by some of his friends he's made including George Washington to move to Virginia he actually buys land in Fredericksburg from George Washington and then a few years later when the Revolutionary War breaks out well you Mercer is ready to fight he's friendly with George Washington he already as a young man kind of started a re little rebellion over in Great Britain uh, he's ready to fight the British and he does um he ends up being appointed very early on as a brigadier general in the Continental Army and he's given the charge of of organizing the flying camp. Now a flying camp uh, was more common back then. It was expected to be able to move more quickly than the rest of the army at a moment's notice. Kind of in a fashion that the Minutemen in New England and other parts of the colonies were expected to move the same way. Uh, except he was working specifically for the Continental Army and in this fashion when Washington needed, oh we need someone to defend over here or we need someone to go uh, do a little skirmish over there. You Mercer was the guy that Washington would call on. When he needs someone to do something right now with a smaller group of men, a, you know, a, 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 a battalion for sure. It was actually called the Flying Camp Battalion, but, uh, you know, not necessarily the whole army. You Mercer was the guy he called on. And Mercer did this for several years. Uh, well, about a year and a half because he's in this position, he goes to New York, uh, he's part of the loss of Fort Washington, but he's fortunate to evacuate with his army, he then joins the crossing of the Delaware, he helps with the Battle of Trenton, but then on the march to Princeton, you Mercer and his men are ambushed. Mercer is bayoneted several times, I believe the number is either seven or nine, but bayoneted several times, uh, he is pulled aside by his men and propped up against a tree, uh, and he does continue to order his men, despite bleeding profusely from said tree. Uh, this tree is now known as the Mercer Oak. It stood for over 200 years. Unfortunately, I believe a storm did take it down recently. Uh, but even more unfortunately is you, Mercer, ends up uh, in excruciating pain for about a little over a week before he finally dies and is given reprieve from the great pain. Now, this is early in the war, uh, and because of that, you Mercer becomes one of several people who end up being looked at as a martyr to the cause. Um, as I said, uh, the Broadway play Hamilton mentions the name Mercer now. Uh, I think the line is, uh, oh, they named Mercer Street after him. All you had to do was die. And that is um, sadly what happened, but he does have several locations throughout the United States named after him, including, unfortunately, the Mercer Oak, which has since fallen down. But that is, in very, very brief, the story of you Mercer, one of the earliest brigadiers in the Continental Army. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit like, and if you're new here, subscribe. I talk about the American Revolution and the different founders that we don't usually hear from all the time. I will be back with another founder for you tomorrow. If I hit the right button. <laughs> okay.